Hey, what's up? I'm DJ Big Wiz. We're here at the NAMM, uh, the Rainbow, excuse me, NAMM 2012 with Sam Ash. Um, I'm going to talk to you real quick about the new Rain TTM 62 mixer. It's a two-channel mixer. It has two sound cards in it, like the 68 did. Uh, so you can hook up two different laptops uh, to this mixer at the same time, and two DJs can have their own version of Scratch Live running at the same time. Or you can use the second sound card to uh, run another program through uh, if you want to run the Able to Live or, or Reason, something like that in there. You can do that. Um, a lot of people are looking at this, at, at, at this as a replacement for the 57, which it's really not. It's kind of its own thing that falls in between the 57 and 68. Uh, it is a uh, two-channel mixer that has built-in effects and Scratch Live control surface on it, but it works a lot differently than, than the 57. You have all your cue point areas up here, so I can trigger my cues with this button. And I can also press the middle button, and that'll switch it to the sample. So now I control all the samples in my SP6 sample player in the Scratch Live software. I can go between my four different banks and trigger all six of my samples. So that gives you complete control over the sample player and cue points uh, with the 62. You also have a USB aux input down. This is dedicated to the SP6, so you don't have to worry about assigning your SP6 to a certain channel or putting it on the master and every time you fade the fader over, part of the, the level dies because it's being based on like both channels. So you have your uh, level for the SP6 here. You have a high pass, low pass filter for it, dedicated filter for the SP6. Uh, and you have a flex effects send for the SP6 also. Uh, the flex effects routes the signal into the effects section built into the mixer. Uh, you have six different built in effects. You have filter, flanger, phaser, echo, robot, and reverb. Uh, they can all be controlled just by assigning what channel you want the flex effects to, to, to go on, making sure it's on, and then choosing the effect. Uh, the effects engine will read the BPM tag in your yeah, tracks in like Scratch Live like and automatically sync the effects to the BPM. So you don't have to worry about it being on feed or, or tapping into uh, a parameter to make it on time. Um, you can also use the, uh, the beat joystick here to go up or down and double your effect time. So if I have a delay that's on, uh, say, like a one measure delay and I want to double that, click the joystick to the right, now it's two measures. Click it again, four, click it again, eight, 16, 32. And you can go down the same way. Uh, going down is similar except when you get to three four, so they give you an option for three four instead of just going from like one and a half to one four. Um, so that's that. It also remembers the different BPM settings per effect. So if I have a one measure uh, filter set and a two measure flanger and a three four phaser and switch back and forth, it retains that information. So I don't, you know, once you get a set just like you want, it's not going to forget it when you switch effects. Uh, the queuing system has a split view system, which most people are familiar with. Uh, the filter I told you about, the dedicated filter on the aux channel, you have that on every channel, both of the line channels and the mic channel. Um, now, if you want to change the way the filter or some of the built-in effects work, you can do that, uh, which you couldn't do in other versions of Scratch Live. Go to your setup tab, and go to your hardware tab, see down here effects, go to your effects tab, and now you can change the filter, the flange, the echo, and the actual uh, so you have four different types of uh, filters, flanges, uh, echoes that you can choose from while you're spinning. And if you want to change the way these filters work, you can do that as well on this panel. So you can do that before. So it gives you a lot more flexibility. You can also route the DJ effects, the software from Scratch Live, through the effects section by pressing the USB insert button. Now when I press that, the DJ effects in Scratch Live, which are normally pre fader are now routed through the mixer in their post-fader. Uh, the difference between pre- and post-fader effects is, say I have something like an echo or a delay on, and it's pre-fader. When I cut my original signal out to just hear the delay, the delay's gonna cut off as well. So you won't hear the delay keep going on. Uh, when it's post-fader, I can take the fader out and you still hear that delay going. So that's the difference there, and that can only be done right now uh, with the DJ effects using the 68, 62, or the 61 mixers. So, you have your built-in effects, you have control over software effects, you also have an effects loop for looking outboard effects, so if you get like a 4 chaos pad or a 
Pioneer Effect Unit or whatever. You can route your hardware effects in, software effects, mixer effects. For people not familiar with the 68, uh, you can also use the controls up here to scroll through your tracks, load tracks, uh, scroll through your different crates. So you never have to touch the mixer. You scroll through your crates, go through your tracks, load your tracks to the left and right dead, instant doubles, everything from the mixer. The section underneath here is your uh, loop section. You can also control your loops, auto loops and uh, loop rolls, manual loops, all from the mixer. You can set a loop. You can uh, do loop rolls, you can adjust the length, you can save loops, you can delete loops, uh, you can delete and set cue points for the mixer. If you want to set a cue point in the track, let's find a track here that may not have one. Okay, so if I want to set a cue point in this track, the third, fourth, or fifth point, all I need to do is make sure this is set to cues instead of samples. And you can see these four buttons are empty. This one has a sample that's so split up. Now if I press any one of these buttons, it just sets a cue point instantly, just that quick. And to delete it, you hold down the delete button here, and then you press the ones you want to delete, and now they're gone. So, super quick and easy to set your cue points from the mixer, delete them from the mixer, set, save, and delete loops from the mixer, control them, control your effects, your SB6. You know, you should never have to go to your laptop once you turn it on and set up your spinner for anything. And that's uh, in a very quick rundown, some of the more uh, really cool advanced features of the uh, 62. But honestly, check this mixer out. I could talk to you for an hour about things that still not be done. When you really start digging in this mixer, there's a lot of can do. And of course, it's a rain mixer, so it's going to have rain's legendary quality, sound quality, serviceability, support, um, everything. It's a rain. It has the magnetic faders, so for people who like to scratch, the rain's magnetic faders in there. You, you already know what that's about. So, yeah, check it out and uh, stay tuned.